Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to install WAMP Server. First of all, why would you want to install WAMP Server? The great thing about WAMP Server is that it will let you run your own computer as a server. So the first thing you want to do is go to WAMPServer.com www.WAMPServer.com and here we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click English. WAMP Server comes with various softwares. Apache, MySQL for your databases, and PHP, the coding language. So the first thing I'm going to do is click WAMP Server 2.0i and you will notice that you will get a little window right here that says download WAMP Server 2.0i and oh yeah, and it also comes with PHP My Admin, which is great for monitoring your databases. Um, that way, you don't have to go to the command prompt, and um, you know, it just takes a longer time. And uh, PHP My Admin is really great to visually create new databases and do all kinds of really great things. So I'm going to go ahead and click Download WAMP Server 2.0i. And I'm going to go ahead and save the file. Open containing folder, and it's right here. I've chosen for Firefox to choose this folder for my download, so it directly goes in here. Um, you can choose whatever folder works for you. I'm going to double click that, and I'm going to say run. Welcome to the WAMP Server 2 Setup Wizard. I'm going to hit Next. I accept the agreement. Next. I don't really want it to be installed in my C drive, so I'm going to choose another location that actually works for me. I keep a lot of my files in this folder called Website Design, and so I'm going to choose that folder to choose um, WAMP. So when it comes down to um, serving files out of a specific location, it will um, it will choose this. And I can always modify that location later uh, by editing my httpd.conf file, which I will show you guys in the next video. So I'm going to choose that, hit next, and I do not want a quick launch icon, but I do want to have a desktop icon. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to check that, say next, install. Now it's asking me, please choose your default browser. If you are not sure, just click open. Well, preferably, I would like for it to always open up in Firefox. It's my preferred browser, but it'll still open in Firefox. I'm just going to say open. PHP mail parameters. Uh, SMTP, localhost, email, you at your domain. That's fine. You can always change all that later. I'm going to say launch WAMP Server 2 now. We're pretty much done. Finish. Close this folder. Close this. Now, how do we know it's installed? Well, I'm going to show you guys something. Right here, it'll say, it'll create this little icon, and it'll say server offline. So you want to turn it online. So you click that and say put online. Online. Come online. Mouse over. And there it is, server online. So now I'm going to go back up to my browser and I'm going to type in localhost. And there it is. RAM server is installed successfully. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to edit your httpd.conf file. When you edit that file, you have the ability to have, uh, instead of this screen that you see here, 
that says WAMP server, server configuration, you'll basically have uh, folders that contain your documents. So I keep a folder for every client um, and I just created a test folder to show you guys. So in the next video, I'll show you guys how to edit the httpd.conf file. Stay tuned. Um, in the meantime, if you want to get an update on these videos, you can also follow me on Twitter. You know, okay, you guys, my address it is twitter.com slash RamonaWorks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day.